Now, as we go through this program, I'm not going to speak of riches in a figurative way. To be really rich does not mean to be satisfied or contented with a little. You shouldn't be satisfied with a little if you're capable of using and enjoying more. The purpose of nature is the advancement and development of life. Every individual should have all that can contribute to the power, elegance, beauty, and richness of life. Did you notice how Rhonda Byrne captured that in The Secret? How she just seemed to know what would fit and what would meet the consciousness of the masses. Well, that's what she was talking about. Every individual should have all that can contribute to the power elegance, beauty, and richness of life. Doesn't that feel good when you hear those words? Every individual, that's you. You should have all that can contribute to the power, elegance, beauty, and richness of life. When you own all you want for the living of all the life you are capable of living, you are rich. You cannot have all you want without plenty of money. It's absolutely essential if you're going to live the good life. Most people don't get what they want. They get what they settle for. Go on into any shop, any department store, and just watch the way people shop. They're not picking out things they want. They're looking at the price tag of things. And sometimes they'll look at the price tag and put it down very quick. You'd think it was hot. It was going to burn them. We should look and get what we want and then just go and pay for it. You've got to have the money to do that, though. Life has advanced so far and become so complex that even the most ordinary man or woman requires a great deal of wealth in order to live in a manner that even approaches completeness. You naturally want to become all that you're capable of becoming. This desire to realize innate possibilities is inherent in human nature. Success in life is becoming what you want to be. Earl Nightingale put this very, very well. He said, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. If you think how perfect that is, it's the progressive realization. In other words, you are continually moving ahead. This beautiful ideal is unfolding of a worthy ideal. And it's not that you're worthy of it. It's worthy of you. You're trading your life for it. Now, Wallace Waddles is saying essentially the same thing. He said success in life is becoming what you want to be. You can become what you want to be only by making use of things. And you can have the free use of things only as you become rich enough to buy them. Therefore, an understanding of the laws of the universe and the science of getting rich is the most essential of all knowledge. There's nothing wrong in wanting to get rich, but I think a good part of our population has been raised with the idea that there's virtue in poverty and there's some sin in great wealth, and that is not true. There's no virtue in poverty, none at all. That's not how God meant us to live. We were endowed with rich resources. We have more power within us than we'll ever probably use in our lifetime. So the idea of living in poverty as a virtuous thing is absurd. Where did that idea come from? Who originated that? How far back would we have to go? And yet there's still people believe that today. An understanding of the laws of the universe and the science of getting rich is the most essential of all knowledge. And like Waddle said, there's nothing wrong in wanting to get rich. You should want to be very rich. Understand this. Money can only be used for two things. Just two things. One, it's to make you comfortable. And the other is to be able to extend the service that you offer far beyond your own presence. Now, I don't know about you, but I operate with some pretty healthy ideas. I have some big ideas. I want to build our business and provide our service much better than we're already doing it. And to do that, we're going to need more money. And so I have found the secret to getting rich. And it's locked up in the science of getting rich. The desire for riches is really the desire for a richer, fuller, and more abundant life. And that desire is praiseworthy.
the person who does not desire to live more abundantly is uncommon. The individual who does not desire to have money enough to buy all that is desired may not be living to their full potential.